Today is a really exciting day. We got some great suggestions, uh, specifically from a new audience. Uh, thank you to the community member who wrote the article about this project, and thank you to everyone who commented on that, because, wow, there's a couple things that were so good, I thought we just need to try that. Specifically, we are going to run our water blocks in parallel to eliminate that cascading effect where every water block was getting progressively hotter and hotter and hotter. We're gonna fix that today. Whew. And the other one is our mix ratio. Someone's like, hey, you'd get so much better performance if you just get all that propylene glycol out of your loop and make it pure water. Now, of course, we're going to have a corrosion issue if we do that, but for one day, a couple hours, yeah, we'll put the anti-corrosive back in there later. We'll give it a try. I mean, this thing's been working for, uh, if I look back at the clock, uh, we filled the loop and it's had the same coolant in there for quite a while, actually. I think it's been over a month, uh, almost two. So we've been sitting with this mixture, this mixed metal loop for uh, quite a while and it's been just fine and I'm really happy to report that. So let's play around with it. <laughs> it's not broke. <laughs> let's go break it. I don't know, right? We've got to learn something. <laughs> uh. What? Uh, okay, yeah, let's try that. <sighs> this is what we call insurance. Maybe I should tell you what we're doing here today. Okay, so basically, we are going to be changing out our loop a little bit. We're gonna be putting in this four-way splitter recombiner. Oh, heck yeah. So we're gonna split out the water flow from this rad to the uh, four blocks and then Converge it back down. It's gonna make this into a big mess, but I think it just might improve the thermal performance at least well if the comments are to be believed, but it makes Rational sense, right? Our water is getting hotter 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 hotter. This last block is getting the hottest water It's gonna throw it first and now we're gonna put them all in parallel equal resistance Approximately equal division of water flow. Hopefully it works out. We're about to find out. All right, let's go Let's just send it. Okay. We've broken the loop. We're in. Uh. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Yep, rookie mistake. Don't lower the tube because... Oh my goodness. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, this doesn't... Mm. Okay, I'm gonna go get some paper towel. Now, this is where things are gonna get a little crazy. I'm just gonna turn this on and we're gonna pump some of this fluid out. Hello. Okay, yep, we're good. Okay, let's try that again. Okay. 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 Sweet. Drained a bunch of fluid out of the loop. We're good. Is that enough? Should have been enough. That was a lot of liquid. That should be fine. Okay. Got it. Here's what we're going to do. This is not going to film as well as I thought. Hope- ah! ah! Okay, we're going to need to turn off the camera. Clearly, this is not going to- I didn't think about- Oh my goodness. To anyone that works with water cooling all the time, I just want to say, this sucks. <laughs> Okay. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay. Mm. 
Okay, there we go. I love these spring clamps. These are great. Okay, so I keep making a mess because I'm trying to do too many things at once. So I'm going to turn off the camera. I'm going to finish plumbing this loop. You get the gist of it. We're going to break the loop a bunch. We're going to hook up all the blocks. We're going to get it connected. You know, we're going to do this. So, okay. I know I said I was going to do this on my own, but I need to do something stupid enough that I just feel like the camera should be rolling. Um, yeah. Um, we're just going to... I need to drain this, and I don't really have a good way to drain this, so I'm just going to... We're just going to drain it. <laughs> There you go. That's as much as we can do with the pump. So that means we're all just mm. Ugh, I can't drain this loop. What in the world? Who designed this? <laughs> Okay, yeah, there we go. See, the problem is this lower loop, I can't break any of it because it's full of liquid. It's gonna make a mess inside the case. So I need to just kinda, I wanna like blow air back into the loop, but I can't. Filling the loop V2.
Oh my goodness, it's insane. I really want to punch a hole in the top of this case. That would make this a lot easier. Now we need to be mindful of our concentration. There will come a concentration where this thing's going to corrode like crazy. <clears throat> I think we are going to need a little more antifreeze. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh goodness, oh goodness, oh goodness, oh goodness. Okay, so this one is like squirting, like gushing. Oh yeah, that fitting is super loose. Mm. Hopefully this will prevent the gushing. There's just so many opportunities for leaks. This is just crazy. Let's try that again. Hopefully this time with less gushing. Yep. Okay. Okay, we're seeing a little bit of leakage over here. Okay. I need to, to tighten this fitting. Okay, yeah, the leak. Note to self, buy an infinite supply of the spring pipe clamps. Because it's like once they're in place, you know they're tight. Whereas with these other ones, you really just have no idea. You're just kind of guessing all the time. Very frustrating. Oh no. I clearly need to walk away and fix this tomorrow. This one might be a part two. But it's been a good run. We got the tubes. I just need to replace all of the screw things inside of that case with the pipe clamps, get all the pipe clamps out here, and that is going to be taking off a bunch of tubes and draining the loop again, and I just do not have time for that right now. So, we're gonna reset, we're gonna do this another day, it's gonna be great. See you in a bit.